New at six, one of the worst summer travel seasons in recent memory is winding down. Airlines have been plagued with shortages of pilots and air traffic controllers as they scheduled more flights than they could effectively staff. Travelers have encountered delays and cancellations at nearly every turn. Now, here's a look at what's called the misery map from the travel website Flight Aware. It shows the latest delays and cancellations. 702 delays, 35 cancellations today. LaGuardia and Dallas-Fort Worth affected the most. Rebecca Clough goes in depth on what's causing these problems and what you can expect for the Labor Day weekend. If you've traveled this summer, there's a good chance you've seen delayed pop up on the flight boards and it doesn't look like that problem's going away anytime soon. It's a merry-go-round airline passengers wish they could stop. A flight they booked and planned for ends up delayed. Ida Commanda decided to fly her niece and nephew out of Milwaukee today because of the issues they had flying into Chicago. There was a big delay in O'Hare. It was hours. Tracy Merrill is waiting for her son to fly home. She flew into Milwaukee Monday night and ended up with multiple delays trying to make two different flights. Storms went through, so needless to say, things were delayed. Got a first flight delayed a little bit, got on the plane, then got delayed a little bit more because of lightning on the ramp. Um, and then flights from Charlotte to uh, Milwaukee got l delayed, so it got a little crazy to make sure we made our connecting flight, which we did, but it was just a little anxiety ridden. <laughs> On Monday, a shortage of air traffic controllers in New York delayed 400 flights. I caught up with former pilot Mike Hatton while he was on the road. He says a delay in New York impacts everyone. What they have to do, if they can't handle as many airplanes, they have to put the airplanes farther apart in the air, which puts less airplanes in their airspace. So that means that your airplane may be delayed 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes getting into Milwaukee. Delays have plagued summer travel. FlightAware reports 23% of U.S. flights have been delayed on average 52 minutes since Memorial Day weekend. On top of that, thousands of flights have been canceled over the summer. On Memorial Day weekend, 2,600 domestic flights were canceled. The 4th of July, there were 1,400 cancellations. 82 cancellations in the United States today, 1,400 delays in the United States today. Uh, and that's a relatively low number right now. The FAA has blamed airlines for the issues. And ahead of the fall and winter travel season, nearly every airline cut down on its flights. Hatton says the problems include high travel demand, staffing shortages, and retirement for pilots offered during the pandemic. This is a long-term problem. I see uh, this going in at, at least into 2024, 2025 before there's any significant relief. Uh, American, Delta, and United, and Southwest all face even higher retirements because of the mandatory age requirement all the way out through 2026. Some good news in all of this. The travel app Hopper reports flight prices will be 40% cheaper than they were during the peak summer flying time. That means flight prices will actually be below pre-pandemic levels. Reporting at Milwaukee's airport, Rebecca Clough, TMJ4 News.